In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get the real badges for FM24. Now, as you can see, we're with Aston Villa. They have all of the brand new kits for the 23-24 season. If you haven't seen that video already, go and check that out. It's now on the channel. In the top left-hand corner, they still have a badge from a previous season. Today, I'm going to show you how you can change that to their current logo design. The first thing that you will need to do is head over to TCM Logos. That is tcmlogos.com. There will be a link to this page in the description down below. But alternatively, you can type in TCM Logos 23 and it will bring you to this page that you can see here now. From here, what we're going to need to do is scroll down because these, as you can see, are the logo packs for FM23, but they're not just for FM23. They are for FM23 as an example, but can be used for FM24, and they include all of the latest logos. So if we scroll down, we're going to see that TCM23 was designed for 23 and had a lot of updated logos, and it has competitions, clubs, uh, various continents across the world and they were done for FM23 but they went above and beyond and what they actually did in the off season between the 22-23 and 23-24 seasons was they did an update pack. Now Aston Villa were a team that I picked on on purpose because I knew that they had updated their logo so as we can now see in the 23.1 update pack Aston Villa's new badge is proudly there and being displayed so what we need to do now is download them if you scroll down further there are some instructions if you want alternatives to my tutorial you can always click on these instructions and they will tell you exactly how to do what you need to do to get those updates in place but the most important thing at this moment in time is to scroll past the writing and go all the way to the bottom. You will now be given two options. You will see the TCM 23 Mega Pack. Click on that and it will take you to another page where it is the download page. And all you need to do is scroll down and hit download. That will take you through to mega.nz. Once that comes to here, click download and it will start that download. Once that is finished, we go back across to the main page and download the 23.1 update. There may be an add or two. Click on close. And once again, it will take you through to the download page. When you get to here, click download. And then once again, it will go through to mega.nz and you can click download here. Once those files have started downloading, you'll see it will initialize for a little bit and then the green bar will fill up and it will start to download. Once you have both of those packs, we will move on to step number two. For step number two, we need to locate the files that we have just downloaded. Most people will have the Windows default downloads folder. If you have customized it though, just go to where you have changed it to and you'll be able to locate the files in your downloads folder. Once you've found them, you will now need an extraction tool. Most newer versions of Windows will have this built in. If yours doesn't know, you can just Google WinRAR, WinZip or iZark and they will be there to help you. So once you're ready to do the extraction, simply go to the Mega Pack, right click on it. For me, I need to go to Show More Options, go to iZark and Extract to Mega Pack. This will now bring a screen up that shows you the progress of iZark. And you'll see a lot of numbers that are going through. This could take a while, depending on how quick your computer is. You'll want to do the exact same thing for the update folder. Go to Show More Options, and then I go to iZark and Extract to Update. So, as I said, this could take a little while. Both of them will be doing, and you will see the progress bar going along. I'll come back once they're done, and I'll show you where you need to put them once they're finished. For step number three, we need to prepare for FM24. And to do this, we need to go to Documents, Sports Interactive. In this folder, you should see Football Manager 2023 if you played the previous game. If you are installing FM24 and haven't played the series before, you will also need to set up the Sports Interactive folder in the Documents folder too. 
but once you're in the sports interactive folder you need to create yourself a football manager 2024 folder now you can see i already have one as i've already done a tutorial on how to get kits but if you haven't got one you would just right click new folder football manager 2024 once that folder is set up we need to go inside the folder and then you need to set up this folder which is graphics once again i already have it but if you don't you right click and you just go to new folder and set up a graphics folder you then go inside of that one now you can see i've already set up kits and that's okay you don't need to do that for this tutorial but if you go to the other tutorial for the kits you will obviously need to set that up so the next thing to do is get your logo pack from your downloads folder to your graphics folder so the easiest way to do that is to just go back to your downloads tab where you unzip the files to and if we go to mega pack tcm 23 and double click into there you'll see you have two options instructions and graphics now if you haven't already set your graphics folder up and you just want to drag that one across you can do that but if you've already set the graphics up what you want to do is go across into the next branch of that folder and click on logos right click that go to copy go back to your sports interactive graphics and then copy and paste into there and that will take a couple of minutes depending on how your computer runs how quick it is my one says about five and a half minutes and i'll come back as soon as that has finished so once your logo pack has been transferred over and it is now in the graphics folder of the football manager 2024 folder the next thing we want to do is update that logo pack so if we go back to the original download folder where we had the original two downloads we now need to go into the update tcm 23 go into the next layer go into the graphics go inside of the logos and here you'll see 09 update tcm 23.1 we actually double click that it will give you a load of options here north america others south america europe asia one team and africa and all we want to do is highlight all right click copy go back into the graphics folder for fm24 go to logos and you'll see all those folders are there if we actually right click and paste it will now say that some of these folders are already here and some of the files are already in those folders do we want to replace the ones that are there it'll start off by just going into the folders but anytime you get that prompt to replace a file or folder that is there just make sure that you click yes and it will add those files to the folders so once that is all finished you've replaced all the files and folders that you need to replace you'll be left with a file tree that looks like this it should go documents sports interactive football manager 2024 graphics logos and then within that logos pack you now have all of those options africa asia europe north america oceana others south america and one team that graphics pack is now complete and you can head over to your game to see it in action for step number four you now need to open your game now i'm using fm23 as an example but when fm24 is released it should be exactly the same process so we can now see that we have the kits on the screen and they have aston villa's brand new logo so the next thing that we want to do is see aston villa's logo appear on this screen so the first thing that we need to do is go up to the fm logo go down to preferences from here you will see two screens it will normally load in like this you will see the overview but you want to go to advanced once you go to advanced you'll scroll across to most common for the drop down go into there go to interface about halfway down the page you'll see a section called skin now it's vitally important to follow the next step when you first install the game and you have the default settings a few of these boxes might be checked that i don't have checked so you need to make it match exactly what you can see here so you need under the skin part to have it use caching to decrease page loading times as off unchecked and checked is reload skin when confirming changes in preferences now i already have done this and those are my preferences that are loaded in so my confirm button at the bottom is currently grayed out when i press reload skin it will do the same thing as you hitting confirm for the first time when you do this so hopefully 
if we go down to reload skin I'll hit that you will hit confirm it'll come up with this box saying changing skin loading image data for the new skin please wait hopefully after about 30 seconds depending on how quick your computer is you will now see in the top left hand corner we have Aston Villa's brand new club badge to go along with their brand new kits for the 23-24 season and they will now be showing up in FM24 on the day of release when you install the game. If you have found this video helpful please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to see more helpful FM24 tutorial videos. As I mentioned I've already done one for the kits which you can see on screen also. There will be ones coming for other aspects of the game to get things like trophies, competitions, stadium packs. Uh, there are many things that you can do in the game and I'll be showing you a few more of them as we get towards the release date of FM24. Before you go, don't forget if you want to see other content on the channel, there are FM23 videos, there are some brand new FM24 videos which include Wonder Kids, uh, there are also some first save ideas there is going to be more content coming as we get closer to fm24 so if you've already hit the like button and the subscribe button cannot thank you enough i'm going to leave it here for this video i'll see you on another one very soon